Hello guys, it's John Mason, our ten recording a weekly plays. So it's now Monday, like 2 a.m. It's Halloween. Um, I figure I'll talk about the Halloween stuff today because I'll next time I record this week probably will be after Halloween. So basically, I was gonna do the Bottle Man Fusion video today, but I think I have a more fitting video. Plus, I'm not sure I'm ready for that one yet, so. I don't know if it'll be this week. Definitely before like the Versus set and like the other Bottle Man releases come out. Uh, I want to do that very soon. I just don't know if I want to do it like this second. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm all good to go for that. But yeah, um, I have a better video, another Beyblade discussion, but this will be a, a fun one because it's going to be on a Hasbro. I'm going to do a Hasbro Beyblade discussion just talking about Hasbro. Uh, I'm just going to basically be tearing Hasbro apart the entire time. It's going to be a fun... It'll be fun. So, I'm looking forward to that. Actually about to do that uh, right now. Like in a few minutes here. It'll be a fun time, I'm um, sure. So, Hasbro... <laughs> Hasbro Paveley discussion. That'll be a... Uh, it'll, it'll be fun. So anyway, that, that's the Halloween video. Definitely a fitting one. Uh, I, I would say. So that'll be something. I guess just Halloween. I was going to talk about Halloween stuff, but like I don't know what there is to talk about. Like, I guess I used to like Halloween as a kid. I don't... I mean, I used to like trick-or-treat and stuff. And the last time I did that was 2000... Well, no, not last time. But like, the last time I was really, really into it was 2010. 2011, I didn't care as much. I, I still kind of did. Keep in mind, I guess my year corresponds to, like my age in terms of like Halloween time uh so like 2011 I was 11 uh yeah 2012 I like barely went out I didn't even care in 2013 2014 I remember being like maybe I'll go then it was like 30 degrees and like kind of snowing and I didn't and then since then I have not cared about Halloween at all it is just to me the hurdle to get over uh, for until you get to Christmas time, and Christmas time for me starts on um, November first. That that's when Christmas time starts. That that's just how it is, uh, at least in my opinion. So, Halloween, not really my favorite thing, honestly. I don't care for it. It's just there. But yeah, I guess I'll, I just want to talk about a little bit. I have nothing else to say about it. It's just not something I care much about. But uh, yeah. I guess next time I talk, it'll be November. That's nice. So yeah, just a quick clip to start off this weekly plays, but I will talk more later in the week. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make the other video now so I can get that up uh, as soon as possible. All right, it's now Thursday. It's like, is it 1 a.m. yet? I don't know. No, almost. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Thursday already. I don't, I don't know what happened. It, it's just, it, we're already here, I guess. So basically, I don't have a lot to talk about this week. I'm going to probably talk the most in this clip, I think. This is going to probably be a shorter weekly blaze. Like, I still want it to be a half hour long, but I'm not sure if it will or not. Uh, I hope it can be. We'll see how long this clip goes, but uh, I'll probably only record like one more time this week. Either like, I guess technically like Saturday morning or just Saturday night. Uh, yeah, I, or maybe even just Friday, because I think Friday night I have some time to record if I want to. So most of my, like, usual topics, I don't really have anything about, like, the Beyblade, Bakugan. I guess Bakugan I don't talk about constantly, uh, weekly plays. I guess, like, Beyblade and Bottleman. Really just Beyblade's the main one. Bottleman, I guess, too. Nothing for those right now. Bakugan, yeah, nothing really either. Um... I don't, like, I think I've talked about everything for, like, YouTube stuff as well. Just, like, general, whatever, like, weekly blazes or anything like that. The only two things I really have are, like, anime and video games, which are, uh... <coughs> something. But, I mean, anime, I haven't, like... Okay, no, I still watch anime every day, because I've been doing that forever. Uh, I'm not stopping, it's just been very slow, because uh, when I did the whole thing where I was, like, rewatching a ton of stuff, I was watching, like... I was watching anime, I think, like, three hours a day for, like, two months straight, and that just, listen, that, that just made me, like, tired, and, uh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to watch as much after a while, so I didn't, so I watched, 
I know I talked about um, Josh and Jen Dropkick season three, at least like a part partially. I know I talked about Ruby Ice Queen already. Um, and that kind of was whatever. But like Josh and Chen Dropkick season three was really good. I talked about this already a little bit, but yeah, it was just more Josh and Chen Dropkick, which I liked a lot. Aside from that, I've only ever I've only watched one other series so far, which is um, Love Live Nishigasaki season two. Um. And then um, I'm currently watching, I'm almost done with Love Life Superstar Season 2. Then I'll probably pick up the pace for another month and a half, and then I'll probably chill out a little bit with, like, some rewatchings, some rewatches in, like, December that are slower paced. Um, or at least I'll watch them at a slower pace. But I want to watch at least, like, four or five series in the next month and a half. Um, should be doable. But, yeah. Basically, I, I just haven't been watching as fast because again i've just been tired but I'll, I'll try and pick up a little bit and then chill out and then like early next year I'll, I'll get going but uh yeah anyway so basically <coughs> for love live okay so love live is an interesting series it's not something i'd consider good exactly it's like not bad it's just like not that crazy um like in terms of like actual quality I, it's just a series like personally i just like um, Nishigasaki was a weird season because th there were like 10 characters. Each character got like an episode spotlight since they're not technically a group, but they're like a club, but not like a music group. Um, so I, I felt, I thought like the, the first season was weird because it was like, okay, well you have like 13 episodes, but each episode, like 10 of these episodes have to be dedicated to a certain character. So it, the pacing always just felt a little bit weird in my opinion. It felt kind of broken up. Season 2, you got three new characters. You're, you're kind of building on what you had before. This, I think, worked really well. I think because of the individual episodes, it made Nijigasaki feel very weird, but also, like, it made the characters themselves really strong. It's just the story wasn't all there, in my opinion. So Season 1 was a little bit... Eh. But, like, Season 2, I think, really picked up. Because now all the characters are pre-established. I mean, it's not as hard to write in new ones, I think. Like, well, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but, like, three new characters to give some spotlight to, plus, you know, building on what we had. Story worked a lot better, I think. Characters are, like, great. You know, everyone, I think, likes these characters, and, um, yeah. Season 2 is a great time. And Superstar... Superstar... Season 2, I think... I don't want to say it's the best season of Love Live yet... Because I still have two episodes to go. I'll watch those both tomorrow. Because I already watched one, like, a little bit today. Uh, I'll watch the last two tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, it's like... I think there's a season three happening, too, which is unheard of. Because every other... Well, like, School Idol Project and Sunshine had two seasons and a movie. Nishigasaki so far has two seasons. Superstar now has two seasons. But they, they announced the third season, so I, that's the first. That's a, that's the first. Okay, cool. But basically, I was kind of worried about Superstar Season 2, because I'm like, okay, so they're adding in four new characters, because that was kind of what I liked about Season 1, is like, okay, you have five characters, right? Five main characters. Every other season has been, like, more, you know. School Idol Project and Sunshine each had t uh, nine. Nijigasaki had ten, plus Season 2 brought it up to 13. There were only five, and it, I think, really strengthened, like, kind of the characters... More organically, and I just think the story worked better, it was just like a really refined and good love life. It kind of gave me like a vibe of um, School Idol Project, kind of, kind of trying to like reinvent the series in a way. Uh, at least kind of, I would say. I liked that. And I was a little bit worried about adding more characters, because like, I think part of what made Season 1 so good was having a smaller focus. But here's the thing. Could they have done season two with the five characters? Yes. But I feel like because they've already established them so well, they've, you know, they could continue just with them. But I feel like adding four new characters into the mix made it a little different and I think actually works pretty well. Because um, now, okay, you have the established characters. It's kind of like what Nijigasaki season two did. You have the established characters and you kind of have some more focus on these new ones, but while also continuing with the old ones. But because it's a smaller cast, I think it kind of works a little better here. And I really like Superstar Season 2 a lot so far. They've done a great job with the new characters. You know, they, they've done a great job just continuing the series. If anything, 
Uh, I'm glad this is the thing that they chose to go season three to. Obviously, School Idol Project, the first one. I'm a little bit biased, too, because, you know, it's it's the first one. And uh, when I first watched it, it was actually the only uh, Love Live out at the time. But, uh, you know, seeing this, I, I'm, I'm happy it's getting a season three. So hopefully that goes well. Um, and that's all for anime. I don't really know what else to say. I guess I have some things I want to watch, like um, Call of the Night, Summertime Rendering, uh... Probably, probably should watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners as well, and I don't know, like maybe Zombie Land Saga. That's not new; it's just something I wanted to watch. Uh, maybe some other like Lane type of show. Not like Lane, as in like like oh, like ser serial experiments Lane. Not like Lane, as in like the same anime. Like there's nothing like it, but I just mean like similar vibe. Maybe like Paranoia Agent or something like that. We'll see. Um, yeah. Just want to catch up on some of the summer series I haven't watched yet, because I really haven't watched any, but, uh... Yeah, oh, wait, actually, I only have, I think, for, like... Maybe three weeks, I'll maybe watch, like, two series, and then I have to take a little break. Kind of getting later into November, because then I'm going to watch JoJo Part 6. I'll probably do that pretty quickly, but still, I want to make sure... I'll probably do maybe, like, six, day, six days, just watch them in chunks. Um, so maybe like four, maybe, maybe more than two series then. I, I should have some time. But I'm going to be watching part six. I know, you know, when, when the next batch drops so I can get prepared for that. And, uh, I want to make sure I have some, you know, I, I watch like the first two batches, like finish the second match the night before the third patch drops. So then the next day I could watch right away. And then like probably the day after that, finish it and just be done. I've been waiting over a year now, not over a year, but yeah, about almost a year for part six, because I wanted to watch it. I assumed I'd be able to watch it by, like, I thought, like, maybe June? At worst, I thought, like, September, but yeah, no, gotta wait, so. Almost time, though, actually, almost around, yeah. So, I'm definitely, if anything, even if I just watch something that I just did not expect to watch, and I don't watch anything I just mentioned... That one for sure. I'm I'm watching JoJo Part Six. That that's not up for debate. Um, that's something I'm going to be watching. So, yeah, it's anime. Uh, games. Okay, so games. Um, I don't really do much gaming stuff on my channel at this point, but like, I just like to talk about some game stuff. So, two main games right now. Um, are it's just franchises really. One I'll talk a little bit less about, because I'll probably talk more about it next week, but, uh, Sonic Frontiers, uh, that comes out next week, so I, I actually started my channel because of Sonic, uh, specifically Chow, and, yeah, I mean, it, it's been, like, a series I've always known and, uh, liked, and, uh, it's, <laughs> it's been having a time for a while now, I mean, you know, I, I think, what was, like, the last game people actually liked, like, Generations? That was 2011, though. And we didn't get a game until 2013. I guess that's not that long of a gap, but like at least like a mainline game. That was a Lost World, and uh, I could appreciate Lost World, but it's not like that great. Then we had to wait until 2017. Now we did get a 2D game, Sonic Mania. That game's phenomenal, but we're talking like 3D Sonic, and uh, we also got a game in 2017 for 3D Sonic, Sonic Forces. That game is awful. Like it's just so. It just like ranges from being like bad to like okay. And it's just, like, such a underwhelming game. It's not like it's, like, Sonic 06, like, ridiculously glitchy, doesn't function. But, like, at the same time, I like Sonic 06 more because it's at least, like, they were trying to do something here. They did not try with forces. Frontiers looks actually interesting. I'm very curious about how this is going to go. Really want to play it. Six days left next week. Um, very excited about Frontiers. Don't have much to say about it, though, because I don't want to get my hopes up. I really don't want to get my hopes up, because, like, I feel like I've had my hopes up for every Sonic, like, every 3D Sonic game. Like, I was, like, very excited about Unleashed. Didn't care for the Werehog stuff that much. Very excited for Colors. I just really don't like Colors. Um, was excited for Generations. Not bad, but it was just, like, I wish they, they would have expanded more on the game. Was excited for Lost World. It just didn't, it, it just wasn't all there. And then Forces, I was really excited for. And then, oh man, that was, that was a, that was a mistake. And now Frontiers, I'm like, 
I don't want to actually be excited for this game. I really just don't. Like, it, it, it's just not worth it. Like, it really, really isn't. Um, but uh, Pokemon, I guess, that's another game that comes out. Uh, not next week, but the week after. Uh, so Frontiers comes out next Tuesday, and then after that, the, the week after that Friday is when Pokemon comes out. So for Pokemon, um, I guess, like, I talked about, I remember talking about some Pokemon games on Weekly Blaze, and we were talking about, like, getting Alpha Sapphire. Oh, man, that was eight years ago. Uh, I talked about, like, Moon when I got that. That was fun. I liked Moon. I did not talk about Ultra Moon. Um, yeah, no, I did not talk about Ultra Moon because I did not do Weekly Plays at that point. Um, Ultra Moon kind of pissed me off because it's like, you, you removed some of the good parts about, like, Moon, but you added in a lot more. But, like, you, why, why did you remove some story elements for Moon that were actually, like, interesting that kind of didn't, like, some, I, I don't know, it's just, like, such a weird, uh, such a weird thing, because I feel like in some ways, I still think Moon has, like, pretty good stuff, but I think Ultra Moon kind of recovered some stuff. I still think the overall story of Moon's a little bit better, um, although Ultra Moon has some really interesting stuff with it, but then, like, the post-game stuff, I, I gotta give to Ultra Moon, it's a better game, but it just, like, I, I just wish it was, like, the definitive game, and it doesn't quite feel like that, and it probably should have, and can't. I'm, I'm just going to stop you right there. Sorry, my cat, she likes to, uh, she wants to go climb in the closet. I don't, I don't, I don't know why she does that. She just does. It would have been loud, so I just figure I'll just stop her. Anyway, um, I talked about Let's Go Eevee. I still have not beaten that game yet. I just have not cared enough to. I probably should, honestly, but I, I just haven't. I talked about Sword, actually. That is something I talked about. I talked about Sword when that came out. Um, a couple of years ago. Sword? Okay, so... The base game... I'm just going to say the base game is underwhelming as all hell. Unless if you care about the wild area. I really didn't, honestly. I thought it was, like, fine, but I just didn't care too much about the wild area. Like, it's, like, fun. It's just not, like, that crazy to me. But basically, like, unless if you really like the wild area, it's just such an underwhelming game. Um, because, like, everything else has to go around it, and it's, like, a weird mix of, of stuff where it's, like, you have the wild area, but it's not, like, as mixed into the game well. It's just, like, a weird... It doesn't work. But the DLC is good. Uh, Isle of Armor was fun. Nice extra thing to have. I liked it. But then, then you got Crown Tundra. Now, Crown Tundra came out a couple of years ago, and that was really good, actually. I really liked the Crown Tundra a lot, uh, what they did and stuff. It was, it was actually a pretty cool story as well. It almost reminded me of like, a Pokemon movie with how like the story was. I, I actually liked that a lot. I thought Crown Tundra was great. Um... So Sword and Shield, like, the DLC is actually good. Um, it's just a base game. But I guess if you view it as, like... <clears throat> if you view Sword and Shield as, like, the DLC as a part of the game and kind of figure that, like, becoming the champion isn't the end of the game and then you still have, like, this island and, like, this other place to go to, it's a lot better... But it's still, I don't know, it's still, like, a not the best game. Um, also, the fact that it's, like, you know, it's the first $60 Pokemon. Or, no, I guess Let's Go was, I think. Whatever. But the fact that it's a $60 game now, opposed to, like, you know, handheld ones being 40 plus you have, like, this... What was, like, was it $30 or $20 DLC? I think it was... I think it was $20 DLC. At least I hope it was. Um, I think it was. But yeah, it's $20 DLC, so it's an $80 game. That's how much it would cost to buy both versions of, the, like, handheld games. So the fact that it's, like, an $80 game at that point, it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, but yeah. Aside from that, though, like, eh. And then last year you had Brilliant Diamond, uh, Shining Pearl. So Brilliant Diamond I didn't talk about too much, but, like, it was just kind of a... It was a game that existed 
wish they would have done more. I wish they would have done platinum remakes or at least included like a platinum episode. It, it just wasn't as, as good as I would have hoped, honestly. It, if you want to play Gen 4, I still think platinum's the best way to go. But if you really want to play them, I got on a modern console and stuff, and there you go. Here, These exist. Fine. I talked about Legends Arceus. I did finally beat that game. Uh, that was pretty good. I still was kind of bored, but like, eh, it was, it was a nice experiment. Uh, Scarlet and Violet. I'm picking Violet, so Violet, uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited for Violet. Um, so, yeah, I, I really want to check this game out. I hope it's kind of like Legends Arceus style, but like not, but like, you know, actually like structure like a normal game. If it does that, and it's not boring as hell, then, then we have a pretty good game on our hands, I think. Just excited to see what that game's all about and finally be able to play it. Um, but yeah, that one, I'll probably hold off on talking about that one, actually. I don't, I, th I thought I was going to talk more about it, but nah, not really. I, I'm just going to leave it at that, I think. I'll talk more about it, not next weekend, the weekend after. Not weekend, the week after, and I guess more towards the weekend. Uh, that should be the Lucifer week as well for Beyblade. Uh, maybe more Bottleman news as well. And then later in the week after all the news is done, then we'll have some Pokemon stuff. And then probably the week after when we get to Thanksgiving, that'll be another week where I get to talk about Pokemon. That'll be fun. So we're getting pretty close to that at this point. We're like barely more than two weeks out from that. And then, yeah, so that's fun. Have some more topics to talk about. Great. So anyway, that's everything for now. I don't know, I think it's almost 20 minutes. So hopefully I could, I could at least record like 10 more minutes in this weekly blaze. I hope. That'll be, that'll be nice if I could do that. So, yeah, that, that's all for today. So, yeah. All right, it is now Saturday at, like, 11.30 p.m. Um, yeah. So, not much this week. Uh, I'm hoping to at least record maybe, like, I don't know, like, eight minutes or so. Just to even get this over the 30-minute mark. And even then, if I don't, I don't. Like, I'm not going to force it, but, like, kind of hoping I do anyway. At least I think that's, like, 22 minutes so far. I think, at least. I don't know, but, uh... So I finished Love Live Superstar, because I talked about that earlier in the week. Um, a little bit weird. Uh, not like, okay, so I like it a lot, you know, it, it's really good, but... I feel like it fumbles a little bit towards the end. <coughs> not, like, horribly. But... I, I feel like that last episode should have been, like not the like there there needed to be more like i feel like we had a couple episodes in this season that were good but like if we were gonna have to cut out so much it felt like maybe there should have been a couple episodes that we didn't really need as much of um like the one like game episode like you didn't need that like not obviously i'd rather it exists than not in cat cat you better not be chewing on anything cat no stop you're gonna make everything okay you're making everything fall uh, that's how she is um well sometimes usually she's fine other times she just she, she just does things i don't know okay anyway um so basically yeah the last episode should have been like a couple i think it was like a little bit of a weird ending I th i'd say it definitely kind of felt rushed um which is unfortunate, because I think it was pretty good. Like, the first half of the season was genuinely great, and it was a great continuation. After that, was, like... It was pretty fine, I would say. There's nothing wrong with it until the last episode, where it was just like, yeah, no. Um, there will be a season three. Hopefully, you know, season three can be pretty good. Uh, you know, if, it, if the season three is good, this won't, like, destroy the show or anything, you know. Unfortunate, but, like, yeah. It won't destroy it if as long as there's, you know, more and it does well. So, fine enough. Uh, next anime I will watch, probably really soon actually, like, like a half hour, I'll probably start watching, uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I think. Probably I'll go with that one. Um, I was interested in it. I never played Cyberpunk, I don't care to, but like, it's made by Trigger, so I'm kinda, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not like a massive Trigger fan, like, I'm not gonna watch everything they make just because they make it, but I do like Trigger a lot. They are, uh, 
they're always a, they're they're always a fun studio to watch. So you know, I'm I'm like, yeah, well, sure, I'll, let's watch it, see how it goes. Hopefully, it's good. Um, like Cyberpunk isn't a game I'd care about, but like the setting itself and just kind of the idea of it is interesting. And putting that into like an anime form, okay, yeah, I want to watch that. So pretty cool stuff, I would say. Um, and yeah. That's mostly everything with anime. I don't think anything else has really happened. Uh, oh yeah, I did not make the Bottle Man Fusion video this week. Uh, that's next week. <coughs> I'm planning that for the 11th, I think. The 7th will be the Bakertech review. Probably I'll record it like tomorrow night or something. And then, yeah, that'll be the 7th. That'll be the Gigan Deck re-review. That, that's kind of going to suck to make, I'm not going to lie. Because I have to like, do all the modes and, yeah. Whatever, it is fine. I, I, it's not like that hard. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a thing I'm going to be doing. And then I will do the Fusion video on the 11th, right around the time Royal Griffin DX comes out, like a day before. Um, and yeah, the 12th. Hopefully I get the Versus set that day. I hope I can. I got the Fusion DX set the, the first day it came out, so I'm hoping that maybe it happens again, or that was just a fluke. I don't know. We'll see. It happens, it happens. Otherwise, I'm hoping for, like, the 14th. Um, if that does happen, though, the 14th would be a, a Bakutech review. Cat, why are you like this? Why, why? Stop. Stop. Don't, don't, no, stop. Okay, she's, like, hell-bent on chewing on that. Okay, I have to, like, move some stuff around after I, I'm done recording, because she's just being a problem. Anyway. So... Then we have, um, where was I? Oh yeah, the 14th. The 14th would be early in the day, like normal upload time for me is going to be a Bakutech review. And then, after that, later in the day would be the Versus set, so I could get it up right away. Um, and then that week, that week is interesting, because that also should be the Lucifer News Week, plus whenever I get the Bottleman stuff, so the Colomar Energy DX review, and the Royal Griffin DX review. I'm assuming the Lucifer video will probably be the 16th. I don't know when I'll get the Bottleman stuff. I don't think I'll get it Monday or Tuesday. I think Wednesday at best, and I think Wednesday is the 16th. So probably what will happen is the 16th will be the Lucifer video, then like 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, one of the, like two of those four days uh, will be the Bottleman stuff. So yeah. I'll probably upload them back to back, so maybe like the 18th and 19th or something will be that. And the 21st will be the um, next box decorate. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out in that in that time span right there. A lot of videos. Plus, I still have two more Beyblade videos I want to make um, in those last... Well, also like another box decorate on the 28th. And sometime after the 21st and just those last few days of the month, I will have um, the Chosets ranking video and then the Belial Retrospective. So there are quite a few videos, actually. Um, and October was a little bit slower toward the end of the month. November starting off a bit slow. First video isn't going to be till you know, the, the 7th. And then after that, it's like, you know, 11th, 12th. Well, um, oh, maybe 12th. But 11th, maybe 12th. Um, you know, and then, like, after that, it'll just kind of be like, okay, the 14th. Well, I'll just assume 12th for now. So 11th, 12th, 14th. Um... 16th, two more videos sometime, hopefully between the 16th and like the 20th, or 17th and the 20th, you know, video 21st, video 28th, and then between that, kind of the 20 range, just two extra videos, so, yeah, November's looking pretty decent, again, off to a bit of a slow start, but you know what, we're all good, we're, we're vibing, um, <coughs> if nothing else, I just need more videos to put up weekly blazes, because I just put up the 23rd through the 29th of October, kind of later than I prefer, um, Cat, are you about to go back over there again? I swear you better. Cat, Cat, don't. Don't do it. Cat, don't. Don't. You already knocked stuff down. You better. Cat, Cat. You, you, you're doing it, aren't you? Okay. So, I don't know what. No, stop. 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 Do something else. Uh, anyway. Are you, are you really, okay, you're, you're just gonna go back here and do that. I'm having a dispute with my cat here as I uh, record. Yeah, I don't, I don't, no, okay, now you're being petty. Don't, 
No, no, you're... No, cat. Don't, don't bite my foot. She's gonna bite my foot. Alright. So, as I, uh, argue with this cat here, um... I, I just completely lost my train of thought. Okay, November, though, November is like a pretty... Oh yeah, week of the laces, so yeah, I'm a little bit behind right now. You know, uh, next one will be the 30th through the 5th, which is the... Uh, 30th through the 5th, yeah, 30th through the 5th, which is this week's weekly plays. This will come out, um, with the Fusion video, so it's, again, a little bit late. Actually, really, eh, not that late, actually. It's, it's not, like, that bad. It's, like, well, like, six days behind? That's actually not too bad. Okay, we're not, we're not, like, that bad. I guess 29th to the 7th, eh, that's a little bit worse, but, yeah, I guess we're not too bad yet. And then I'll have the time for, like, the... Oh, my God. Why are you like this? And she knows, she knows she's not supposed to, too, because when I walk out... When I walk back over here, she, like, kind of backs off and then tries to be petty again. Oh, she just grabbed my foot and, to bite it. Okay, cat. You are, um... You are being aggressive. I'm just trying to, like, guide you away. I'm not, like, kicking at you. I don't know why you're, uh... Why you're being this aggressive. So, yeah, the, the, my cat's being aggressive today. She's, uh, she's having a time. So, I should probably move that stuff, but anyway, before I do that, yeah, so Weekly Blaze is, uh, the next one's, what, the 7th through the, uh, what, what's, what are the days? 7th uh, through the 12th? No, that's, that's very wrong. 6th through the 12th. There we go. So that'll end the 12th. Uh, I should be able to put that up with the next Pocket Tech review on the 14th. Yeah. So we'll be we'll be all good. Uh, Weekly Blazes are just a little bit behind right now, but not too bad. Um, so yeah, yeah. I guess we're. Uh, I usually point over here anyway, but now we're like extra zoomed in because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to let her chew stuff up. She usually is pretty good, actually. She usually doesn't chew things, but she gets into these moods where she wants to, and then she really, really wants to, and does not want to take no for an answer, and she she will just keep going at it, and it's like stop, please. Anyway, so next week I'll have some fun stuff to talk about, um, Christmas decoration stuff, and then like also Sonic Frontiers, and that'll be a that'll be a fun week. You know, we got some stuff next week. It'll be it'll be fun. But yeah, that's all for today. Okay, record ten minutes. That's actually pretty nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm tired if you can't tell. But yeah, that's all for this video. So, um, oh yeah, time change happens. Shit, that's actually really bad. I'm already tired, and it's like it's like uh, getting closer to twelve now, and the time's gonna reset. So it's basically like close to eleven. Oh boy, this is gonna be a night. Anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, I'll, I'm just gonna try and make it till five to, <laughs> tonight, and see what happens. But yeah, that's all for this weekly play. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and bye bye.